Ben Carr is a weird one because um, he was someone who came in with a, a lot of hype. So um, I'll be honest, Orlando, like over here in the UK, we don't get much Lucha Libre on TV. Uh, you do have to search for it like online to find it. But like I, I have heard like he's, you know, Lucha Libre name, uh, Mystico. And yes. apparently he was Triple H's first big signing when Triple H started moving more into the office. And um, there was a lot of buzz when he came in and they gave him the special lighting and things like that, but it didn't work out. Um, why do you think that? Like, why do you reckon it didn't work out? Uh, I ultimately, he... in the game release, and they put the mask on Hunico. Um, for me, it was just, um, a, a, he's a great guy and a great talent. Unbelievable talent. The thing yeah. was, he was never able to adapt to the American style, yeah. the, the yeah. psychology. Um, when you look at Mexican Lucha Libre, it's totally different than European wrestling and, and Japanese wrestling and, and, and American style wrestling. Um, and he was such a such a huge star in Mexico yeah. that all throughout his career, he never had to change his style. Why? That's, that's yeah. giving him a really, really good living. So WWE gives him a call and he figured that, and, and I'm sure they, they told him that, just be you. So yeah. if someone tells you, be you, so I don't have to change my style. Why would I, you know? They want me to be me, so everybody else has to adapt to my style. Well, not everybody works Lucha Libre style, you know. And and uh, I think Primo was the one who works in car and Sin Cara's debut because nobody else could. Uh, wrestle, yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, his style, and and it was a very very because for Sin Cara to look good, you need a very very good and strong base. Yeah. So he only had a handful of opponents that he can work with. One of them was Sunico, uh, Primo, myself, uh, Tyson Kidd. Um, yeah, and maybe Chavo. Ricardo Rodriguez, Chavo, and Del Rio. Yeah, yeah, I that's right. Me, off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, but Del Rio was on top. He was a champion at the time, so there was no way that they were going to put him, you know. And, and Rey Mysterio, sorry. <laughs> the greatest yeah. high-fly of all time. But <laughs> Del Rio and Mysterio were at a different level. They didn't have to, Yeah. you know, they, it wasn't going to be good business for Del Rio and uh, Mysterio. So who else is he going to work with? And they tried everybody, but it just wasn't clicking. And then... You know, once you have the pyro, the lights, the awesome entrance, but when the bell rings, then if yeah. I don't have anybody else, a, a good dance partner, then and that and that's basically what happened with him. And yeah, I feel that's bad the guy because he's a good dude. Yeah, that's uh, and that's the thing we're gonna get to. Is, well, like WWE's style can be restrictive, um, especially for tag teams, which we'll definitely be getting to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's a. Uh, <laughs>